Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, So brothers, so today I would like to introduce you to the concept of uh, Qibla direction which is the direction which uh, Muslims pray all throughout the world So I would like to introduce you the, to the, the scientific concept behind how do we calculate Qibla direction throughout the world so long time since long time i and may, maybe many other other brothers have long been uh, long been like doubtful about how do we calculate qibla direction is it uh, is it based upon the latitude lines or you are east of east east located or west located north or south of the uh, of the makka but actually it's not exactly the the way we actually think because if we go to the united states which we say it's slightly on uh, on the northern side and the western side of saudi arabia but still instead of the given direction to be pointing to south east the actual given direction is northeast so that kind of uh, doubt, doubts and the clarifications uh, one always wonders about what is the science behind all these things so I would like to uh, and, uh, to take a take the class on that so that all the brothers wherever they stay they actually find some way to understand why and how to determine the generation for that place let me come to the uh, first of all the, what is the definition of a Qibla on the scientific terms uh, based upon the, the, the definition of the Qibla is that you place a, a long pole over the Makkah so much and so huge that wherever you are located over across the earth you are if you are able to witness that pole then you just pray towards that pole that means the direction would be determined by the by the by the direction in which the pole is visible to you across the world so but uh, for uh, fortunately unfortunately we cannot find such a huge pole the the best solution the astronomical solution for that is you determine the that pole infinite pole through a overhead sun now sun so so there is uh, there are two dates uh, in a part of the year in a year where we have the sun exactly overhead over the Makkah neither south neither north at 12 noon 12 noon it is exactly overhead over the Makkah and during that time if you calculate so that sun which is at an infinite distance serve as a infinite pole standing over the earth so at that point of time there may, depending of any time zone we have, have across the world if you are able to witness the sun at that point of time that is 12 noon on uh, the date is 16th of July I think so the date is approximately 16th of July and uh, on that particular date if you are able to witness the sun at 12 noon that is Saudi Arabia time so you may have a different timing altogether you may be let, let's say if it is 12 noon in Saudi Arabia it will be around 2 p.m. for India it will be around um, let's say 5 or 6 a.m. for the United States so based upon the relative uh, based on the related timing you are having you have to witness the sun at your respective timings considering that it will be 12 noon at Makkah during that date which is around 16th of July for better more accurate uh, date and the lotted uh, date and a timing uh, for the Qibla, you can go to or you can search on the Google as uh, FAQ space Qibla and there is another site I'm recommending you to uh, to be aware of which may not which may not be aware of it is uh, Qibla locator.com so let me introduce you but since this is highly like mathematical trigonometrical and highly uh, you must be aware of all the basic principles of like seasons, uh, declination, tilt of the earth and uh, latitude, longitude. So therefore I am going to do all these important things before we can start off actually the actual calculation of which is the Kibla thing. So let me introduce you to this uh, 
so the first thing i am uh, telling you about is the latitude so before i tell you latitude let me tell you uh, okay now this is this is our earth now this is our earth sorry <clears throat> yeah this is the earth and this this is the equator so this i am making an equator okay and let's say this is uh uh this is a uh, uh, this is the lines of uh, basically lines of latitudes all right so the central line which is the biggest line as you as you can see the biggest line the biggest circumferential line uh, which is uh, the equator and this is called 0 degree north or south whatever you can say now any any uh, further if you go northwards so it is not uh, called northwards it is called southwards now these are all the parallel lines of the latitude so latitude governs the seasons so based upon the latitude you are living it and determine the season you are in and uh, so basically now let's say this is the uh, latitude let's say this is 21.5 degree north north latitude this 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 line so what does that mean is 21 degree 0.5 degree north what does that mean is that the angle made by this point from the center of the earth with respect to the earth's di diametrical line is 21.5 degree uh, north similarly if you want to determine the latitude for this point this line so go to this extreme point here make a line towards the center of the earth and with the equatorial uh, diametrical line make an angle so whatever the angle is making let's say it's 50 degree so make it 50 degree south all right so you are clear about the latitude lines so if you see this is the north pole so this is absolutely 90 degree north this is 90 degree south all right so this is all about latitude in addition to the latitude i would also tell you uh the way a person is standing how he is standing suppose uh, you want to locate a person so whenever we locate a person uh, let's say we always consider these points as the as the important points which are which are uh, which makes actually the person able to understand how the things like we don't consider these intermediate lines for that matter we just consider this cornermost point because anyhow these points are nothing but these are the revolving east to west uh, rotation of the earth so if a person is uh, found uh, want to see the how the person is standing there so we will see, we will make a line here like this and this is the person standing with hands and the uh, hands and the legs so this is the person standing here so if you want to make a person stand here so we will just extend the line and just make it like this so right so if the person is here so it will be like this if the person is here you will be standing like this anywhere if the person is south pole person is standing like this this is like it appears to be like the person is uh, <laughs> uh what you say is person is uh, like uh, opposite that is the ulta khada ho gaya but it's not like that because what happens is the the gravity determines the way you stand so the line joining from the head to the toe should always go through the center of the earth because the gravity is towards the earth right towards the center of the earth so the gravity is towards the center of the earth the person has to be uh, going towards that direction so gravity is towards the center of the earth so that is the reason you are standing like this head up and the uh, and the toe towards the center of the earth toe towards the center of the earth toe towards the center of the earth toe toe, toe means feet feet towards the center of the earth